How's everyone doing? So it finally happened. I've been talking about it for like two years now. I finally got two more bookcases. So I've got five total bookcases right there. And uh, I think I really need a sixth one. I was, this would have been perfect to put a sixth one right here. It would have just fit, uh, except there's an air vent right there. And actually this one right here is blocking up a uh, outlet right there, which is an issue because I, it would have been perfect because my uh, computer's right here and it would have been plugged into there, but the light switch has to be on. So that means the lights would have to be on all the time for that computer to be going, which is a pain in the butt, which is why I had the cord behind my chair hooked up to that one before, but it made it so I couldn't move my chair, which was a pain. So I'll have to work around that poor wiring. I, I hate when that happens, when you have to have the, like, the light switch turned on for an outlet to uh, get the juice. But I'm, I'm happy to finally get two more bookcases. Long time coming. I've been talking about getting them for like two years now. Uh, but I realized I need another shelf, another bookcase rather, uh, because I have all that right there. Um, and I've got all this right here. That is actually all stuff that I'm uh, either selling or have sold. And then I actually have a ton of DVDs. Like I've got a DVDs there and then all behind like several feet worth uh, back there that are really high. And when I got these uh, uh, bookcases right here, they came with the extender shelves. I actually told them I didn't want the extender shelves, but they sent the, they brought them anyways. I'm like, all right, because uh, it would, it would be like, I don't know if there'd be, there'd be just a tiny bit of room, but I like having, what I'm going to do is I have other big box sets and busts and stuff like that sets that I'm going to put up on the tops like that and I wouldn't be able to do that if I put the extenders up there for these two that I just got. So I'm going to do, I'm going to put more sets like that because I have a whole bunch more. If you see some of my older videos, I've shown different ones that I've had like the Planet of the Apes one, the Predator Head one, uh, the other Terminator Salvation one. I got a bunch of different ones. So I'm going to put those on the tops now. But you know, I have all those DVDs in there and I have two more full big boxes of DVDs too. So I probably have like two shelves worth, bookcases worth of DVDs alone. I'm going to try to, I always go through and try to downgrade uh, little by little, which is hard to do sometimes. Uh, like there's certain movies that I keep in my collection for certain reasons. Like I hate Step Brothers, but it's a go-to, want want and that fell. Uh, it's a go-to movie though when I'm hanging out with girls. Girls always seem to love this movie. So that's why I keep that in there. And there's, I have a couple things, a couple movies like that. Um, so I don't really, I, I can't stand Step Brothers, but Keep it in there for that. Uh, but there's another one's like semi-pro. I'm like, should I always debate, should I get rid of it? Should I not get rid of it? And if, I guess, you know, part of me is like, if I'm thinking about getting rid of it, I just should. But it is, it's kind of like one of those movies you can just put on and like zone out to. I like the basketball aspect to it. There are some funny moments, but overall it's just like kind of okay. You know, it's like average comedy in my opinion, but I love the basketball aspect. So that's one of the main reasons I'm keeping it. And actually the bear, uh, in the scene towards the end actually ended up killing its trainer like uh, like a uh, little bit after this movie came out. So it's kind of crazy and sad a little bit. But, yep, here we go. There's all my horror Blu-rays right here. And what I'm going to do is take this. I have Disney Blu-rays down there and more Disney Blu-rays over there. I'm going to put that over on one of these other shelves. I have to get extra shelves, too, because the bookcases only come with a certain amount of shelves. And so I want to get... Um, Two extra shelves for that bookcase, two extra shelves for that bookcase, and an extra book uh, shelf for that one, and an extra one for that one. So I'm going to get six more shelves. That'll probably clear up everything off the floor, and maybe a little bit of other stuff. But again, I have two more boxes of, big boxes of DVDs, and then all the uh, DVDs in the closet. So it would have been perfect to have one more bookcase right there, but I can't because of the air vent. So, but there you go. It wasn't all talk, I finally got the bookcases. Now the next thing I gotta do is get another computer. Cause this computer is terrible. There's all kinds of issues. I got the new camera, which is what you're watching me with right now. Cause my old camera broke. And uh, the video editing software doesn't recognize the file format for these when I upload it. So that's a big issue and it's caused a lot of, uh, so I can't really make, uh, you know, in-depth reviews and things like that. Cause I edit uh, with that. So that's a pain. So I've been doing kind of like a lot of like quick updates slash mail days where I talk a little bit about the ones that I've seen, but mostly it's just showing you the new stuff that I got. And I don't know, I, I, I want to do more proper Blu-ray DVD updates where I talk more in depth about it, but there is the, the four right there lined up, which looks beautiful. And there's the sixth one in the corner right there, which is uh, Criterion's right now. I do have another chunk of Criterion's right down there. And I think I have a couple more behind there too, so. But I'll give you 
quick peek right here at some of the criterions. And then here's some Criterion DVDs. Criterion's like one of the only ones when I upgrade, I still keep the DVD. Is that just me? Are there other people that do that? Or do you, when you upgrade a Criterion, do you get rid of the DVD for it? And then I have some down there as well. But this one, uh, I, I need to get two more shelves for it. Because I, again, I do have probably with the ones there and then the other ones that I have over here in this stack, probably another shelf worth easily of Criterion's. So, and then maybe I can put the, my Arrow videos somewhere over there too, so they can have their own shelf. And then here is just, nothing is organized, I just took it off the floor and put it up here. So some different, there's a whole bunch of olive releases right there. I'll just go ahead and show you some random stuff. Hopefully you guys can see this. And here's a whole bunch of ones that I still have in Blockbuster cases when Blockbuster went out. I gotta get more replacement cases. And a few of them I still need to watch. So, slacking on that. And this is like a whole bunch of TV shows down here. Most Well, mostly. There's a few that aren't, but... And there's just random stuff. I've shown a couple of the shelves over here already. I have a couple figures, so a couple. I don't really have many pops. I think I have like, and then I have my Chewbacca one over there in the in the the bobblehead Chewbacca. And there's a couple figures. And here's my horror DVDs. And I've been meaning to do this video for like forever, and now I I, I have to like kind of redo it because uh, it's gonna be like the top ten horror movies that deserve a Blu-ray release. And Blood Diner now has a German release. I don't know for sure if it's region free or not. But then there's a. Uh, from Whispers to a Scream, uh, which now has, I'm not sure, did it come out already? I'm not 100% sure, but I think Scream Factory was putting it out, so I'm gonna have to like redo that now. But here is just a bunch of, the, the horror Blu-rays were alphabetized, but I have, as you can see, a bunch of ones that I still have to like put in there, so. That was the only thing that was organized. And then there's a whole bunch of DVDs. I know a lot of people don't even like collect DVDs. You know, on here, it's just Blu-ray only. If it doesn't have a Blu-ray release, they don't pick it up, which is crazy to me. I mean, if a, if a movie I enjoy just is out on DVD, I'm picking it up. Like Coneheads, I love Coneheads. It's a great comedy. Slackers, love it. Tons of movies that don't have a Blu-ray release, I'm going to pick up because I'm a fan of the movie. So... Bunch of different stuff down there. I have to go through and organize. But I'm pretty souped about this. Um, it looks nice to me. If I, if I just had, it would have been perfect if that vent wasn't there. I could get one more, it would have been like a whole wall. And I would have cleared up like everything essentially. Ah, so close. So close. I wonder if there's a way I can like, like tear this out and then put like the, an, another vent like somewhere else in the room so I can make that happen. I don't know how much that would cost or if I could do it myself or not, I don't know. I'm not a carpenter or anything like that. I don't know how to do the air ducts and stuff, but that could be a possibility. Who knows? And there's Wrigley chilling right there. He's like, be quiet. <laughs> but I'm very souped about this. Uh, if you guys don't know, I've, I've talked about it briefly uh, in, a, in a video or two. I know I've told some people on here. It was from Craigslist. I got the two bookcases from Craigslist. Uh, they were from East Harlem, and they were going to deliver it to me, which is I, I'm in Central Jersey. And at first, it was a little shady because they like changed the the plans for the delivery like four or five times. I'm like, if this doesn't happen tonight, I'm going to be a little annoyed. Uh, but they came through. It was quick and easy. Actually, I had one of my boys come through just in case. Uh, <laughs> so he was there with me too, and it was quick, easy. I actually paid through PayPal. Um, and they were, they seemed okay with it. They said they never received a payment through PayPal. They've used it to buy things off of eBay. Uh, but so yeah, that was a, you know, at first it, it was, I set the payment right in front of him and he's like, oh, I haven't got it yet. And I had to check. It's like, oh, you, it's unclaimed because it was the first time they ever did that. They had to like go through that whole process, but it went in, was smooth. It was easy. It was good. I'm happy. And it was actually a pretty good deal for me too, because they came from, uh, East Harlem. It's probably about an hour to get here and... I'm happy about that. I didn't have to do any driving. They had, they had a big van. Uh, so that was the big thing. That was one of the big things that prevented me from going to Ikea, which is about like 45 minutes from me now, 45 minutes to an hour. 
uh, for me to get it there. And as I didn't have the van, I'd have to rent a van and with all that. And then Ikea, if I wanted to deliver, the delivery fee was more than the actual item. So I got a really good deal for the bookcases. So I'm really happy, especially with the delivery. Um, I actually gave them a little bit extra money just because it helped me out. So I'm definitely pleased. I can, I'm going to finally, I'm going to do some organization. I can get all my Blu-rays up on the shelves. I'm going to organize this. It's going to be fun. I'm happy. I'm, I'm pretty souped right now. This is a, a big thing. I just need to get, you know, if I could, oh, I don't know. I really want to see if I can work something out with that other event. That would be perfection. But I'm excited. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see video wise. I can finally do some proper, maybe full Blu-ray collection, you know, full Blu-ray different. I see, I don't know if I'm going to add, uh, organize them by genres. The only thing I really organized genre wise was horror because that's my favorite genre and it's what I have the most of. But for the rest of them, I, like, I love sci-fi. It's probably my second favorite genre. Um, but I don't know, there's not a ton of great sci-fi releases that I own personally. Uh, there's, you know, I have some, but, and I don't know, I have my criterions are separated and then I have steel books, which are, I have to organize that more properly because they're like behind that other stuff and digi books and there's hard DVDs. But, and then I was gonna, separate the tv shows too but besides that i don't know if i'm going to organize anything and then disney is separate too and arrow is separate <laughs> so i do have something separate but besides that i don't think i'm going to separate anything else genre wise so but yeah let me know what you guys want to see as far as the collection uh, i'm gonna probably gonna organize them up this weekend and get everything properly situated for as much as i can the dvds for most of the DVDs, I think they're just going to stay where they are right now because I don't think I have enough uh, room on the shelves for that yet. I am going to get six more shelves for the bookcases so I can, you know, organize more properly. I think I'm actually going to order those straight from Ikea because I think the delivery fee, if I get just shelves, isn't too bad. Uh, I think it's still going to be more than the shelves. I think the shelves are like 15 bucks a pop uh, for these bookcases right here. And actually these, I think uh, Ikea, like, took these off the market for a while. They're the Billy bookcases. And... My ones are not as sturdy. These new ones are, they, they re-released them, I guess, and redesigned them. These new ones are sturdier. They look a little bit nicer, actually, in my opinion. The finish is a little bit different. It looks like, like you know, it's a faux wood grain, really, because it's compressed wood. Uh, but this one right here is like kind of more solid. If you can see the difference. But this one right here is the ones that I used to have. They're a little bit more wobbly. These ones are sturdier. So the new ones are, are actually better than my old ones, so... <laughs> I'm pleased, and I am excited to finally get this organized. But I'm gonna get the new shelves, or the new, the extra shelves, and I'll, I'm gonna go all out. Uh, probably get the extra shelves like next weekend. So, but I'm still gonna organize for what I have right here. Uh, I'll probably start alphabetizing, um, going you know one shelf here, then falling over to this shelf right there. So I think these two shelves are gonna be Blu-ray. And then that's going to be all Criterions. I might make a shelf for Arrow if I have the room down there. And then over there is all horror Blu-rays, horror DVDs. And uh, I don't know. I have Steelbooks. I'm going to put the Steelbooks, one of these shelves down there, probably at the bottom. Because, that you know, they're going to be heavy. So that's what I got going on right now. I just wanted to share that with you. I know I've been talking about for like two years about getting two extra bookcases. It finally happened. I know you guys probably didn't think it was, but it will. I mean, but it did. And I know I've had a lot of people ask me about different videos, reviewing different movies, uh, doing my top 10 of last year. I definitely want to do that, but again, that takes editing. And right now, my whole computer uh, file format for my camera is kind of not working, so I don't know when that'll happen. I wanted to do it. I was excited. I thought when I was going to get my new camera, I was like, oh, cool, I'll do it as soon as I get my new camera. But now, because it doesn't recognize the file format for my editing software, that's a big issue and i have an old computer uh, it still has windows vista on it uh, i downloaded the corel pro 8 or whatever the newest one the trial period for it i was like okay i'll do a few videos and i'll just use the trial one but then it wouldn't like when i did the rendering process the finalization it wouldn't reckon it, it would like error and shut down uh, so then i contacted support they said it's because i have windows vista it doesn't that's not compatible i have to upgrade it and my computer's so old and crappy it wouldn't do the, the upgrade so womp womp so, I don't know. Ideally, I'd like to get a new computer, but I don't have an extra, you know, G rolling around. That's what I, you know, I'd like to get a nice, decent computer that has a uh, room and a, a nice webcam, because I don't have a webcam right now, so. Yeah, if you guys know any great deals on uh, a laptop that has, uh, you know, a nice webcam and, uh, you know, a good room for, basically, I don't, 
I'm not going to be doing video games or anything on there. I basically, I, I might watch uh, movies on there, if that's a possibility. You know, put some uh, DVDs in there and watch it up. That would be cool. Um, and basically just do editing. I need a good editing software with it. I've been using Corel. And that's been decent. Every editing software has issues. And I've, I've kind of become adjusted to Corel. But their newer one, I tried the, the 8 one, which is the newest one. is way different. But, you know. So recommend me maybe a, a good laptop that's not too expensive and a good video editing software. Let me know. And there you go. Just wanted to share this news with you. Expect more updates of going through the shelves and the collection overviews and stuff like that coming up soon. Doesn't that look beautiful? It looks beautiful to me. Beautiful. If I had that sixth one, it would have been just a pan of a wall right there. But, womp womp. I don't know if that'll happen because of that. But either way, I'm excited. I'm souped. I hope you guys enjoy this. <laughs> it's basically just me being exuberant for the new shelves. The bookcase is right here. But uh, expect more videos coming up soon of the collection. And I hope everybody's doing well. Take care.